I'm just going to go ahead and announce the biggest news right now. Breaking news. You won't believe this, but Freepik just announced unlimited AI video generation. OMG, bro, that's so insane. You can now generate AI videos in Freepik for no credits, no tokens, zero. But it doesn't stop there because this video is filled with amazing updates. Just when you think it can't get any better, it actually gets even better. Wow. So let's go ahead and start with more amazing news. Freepik also announced unlimited AI image generation. Wait, what? And it's right here on their X post. Introducing unlimited image generation. Create and edit images without losing credits for every model. Now this is available for both the premium plus and the pro plan. And if you don't have a premium plus plan, it just so happens that I have a link in the description for an additional 30% off. And now when you have AI video and AI image unlimited creations, I don't think there's a better tool out there. For example, just look how incredibly cheap this is. Right here, premium plus, you could see the extra 30% off is applied, but you're looking at $17 a month which is gonna be billed annually. I highly recommend that. And you're gonna get all of this amazingness right here. So that's for AI images. What about the unlimited generations for AI video? Now, at first, when it does come to images, you do need to know that this is available for every single model from Google Imagine 4 to my personal favorite, Mystic 2.5. Now, when it comes to AI video, you'll get unlimited generations from Minimax Halo O2, which creates videos like this. But wait, there's more. So let's go ahead and now get to the more. And this update is huge. Freepik just added video extender. Upload any video or use an existing AI generated one and add extra seconds of smooth, motion aware, and consistent footage. So you'll be able to take any video and now with just a simple click of a button, completely extend it and make it longer. And now before I show you this in real time, we also have more breaking news. That's right, we even have more. And this relates to text to speech. Text-to-speech is now integrated into the Freepik suite. Natural sounding voices with 30 plus languages and multiple accents. And this is all powered by perhaps the best text-to-speech tool there is, 11 Labs. Now let me show you how to use this new extend tool in real time. And to celebrate this glorious update occasion, I wanna give you an amazing prompt generator to use for yourself. Now what this prompt generator does is it's designed to give you consistency based on any original prompt that you may have. Let's head over here into my prompts generator database. Now, if you have this database, and if you don't, I do have hundreds of prompts just like this on my website. Just go to metricsmule.com, go to the blog post section, and as you scroll down, every single blog post is gonna contain prompts and prompt generators. Scroll down, Anything that you see within these borders, this is a prompt generator. This one is here. I even get these drop down items. These all contain prompt generators. They're always available 100% free via the links in the description. This is gonna be called a consistent movie scene. Okay, so here is the full prompt right here. So what you'll do first, and we'll do this again in real time, you're gonna copy the whole thing just like this. The only thing you're not gonna include at the moment is gonna be anything you see highlighted in color, okay? because that is gonna be your personal and original prompt that you're gonna to give to ChatGPT. It's basically gonna generate three follow-up scene prompts for five to eight second video clips. It's gonna allow you to continue with the storytelling using cinematic storytelling. So until we get a real legit consistent AI video tool, these prompts like this are gonna be gems to allow you to at least develop and create consistent looking AI movies or AI films much longer than five to 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and do just that. We're gonna go ahead and copy the whole entire prompt just like this. Now remember, what we're gonna use this for is actually to extend our video in free pick. So now I have that prompt copied and we're back over here on this prompt. What I wanna do is use again this warrior prompt right here. All right, so here we are in chat GPT. Go ahead and paste that full prompt in and it will look like this. Paste your master prompt. So we're gonna have a prompt. We're gonna use one of your personal ones. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just type in the word prompt and now paste in the prompt that you want follow-up scenes for. So in my case, it's gonna be the one I just showed you. Warrior in black fur cloak faces a massive dragon, okay? 
So it's important to have just a very original and basic prompt. After this is concluded, just go ahead and now submit this. Now watch this magic happen. Now instantly, the first prompt that you originally posted in is gonna be scene one. Now it's gonna give you these follow-up scenes. Look at this, scene two, scene three, and it's gonna give us even more. Now let me give you a quick secret one more time. Let's go ahead and copy this again, okay? this original prompt. Now, let's scroll down and see that first, it did give us these awesome three additional scenes, which will allow us to have four in total. Hopefully, the AI videos will look consistent. But let's go ahead and open up a brand new chat. I'm gonna give you a secret cheat code right here. Same exact prompt, but look at this. Down here below, I am going to add one more bulleted point. And I'm going to say this, look at this, use secret tokens for creating extreme cinematic realism, like in Hollywood blockbuster movies. For example, stills archive comma Warner brothers dot com. Make sure you have a space after Warner Bros and that dot com. Or now watch this. Let's head over to my prompts portal, specifically my cheat code and realism section. Now, these are all going to contain these secret tokens to make your images really look like this. Look how realistic these Game of Thrones ones look. I mean, to be honest, this looks exactly like Amelia Clark. So we're going to go ahead and use this one. OK, here is this token. We're going to go ahead and copy to give as an example in chat GPT. Paste that in. OK, now we're going to do this prompt again. But now this time we're going to make it even better because we're going to get those awesome top secret tokens. And now look at this right here. The first original prompt, we didn't get that, but now look, it's actually giving us shot on IMAX in addition to the secret token with that IMG underscore down here, same thing, 6K raw, hidden realism tags, that dot tiff scan, these are gonna be incredible. Okay, so the next step is, let's first go ahead and create images from any of these scenes. Then from there, Let's go ahead now, extend it to a fuller and longer video. Now to start, we're first gonna go with the original one. So I'm gonna copy this one, but I'm gonna add this token right there, okay? So with that said, let's copy this first prompt, the original one I gave into ChatGPT. Now here we are in free pick, paste that prompt in, up in the top left-hand corner. Now let's go ahead and add that secret token, okay? Here it is right here, copy this back over in the free pick, and I'm actually gonna put the token in the very front with the colon and then start my prompt with that warrior. Copy this whole thing, because what we wanna do is let's generate this in a few different models. While these are thinking, let's go back and now let's do scene two and maybe a few more. Wow, now look at the first one for flux realism. Let's look at each of the three rows and determine which one did the best job. I think in my personal opinion, Wow, we're gonna go ahead and go with the flux realism, okay? Now, again, remember, AI video consistency isn't 100% there right away. In order to get like the legit similar looking characters, like say for an example, we did want this man, and even though scene two does look legit and consistent, obviously that man, isn't gonna be a consistent character. Now that is easily able to be fixed by utilizing flux context. I can simply just replace that man with the other man, very easy, or I can go ahead and actually create a character as a Laura, but nonetheless, we're gonna get these amazing rows right here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open this one up right here and start the process of extend. On the right hand side, we're first gonna go ahead and create a video, and what we'll do is, with that being said, let's go ahead and now choose our model. For this one, I think I'm gonna go with the Minimax Hilua O2. And so I know I said flux context earlier, but it's actually gonna be using GPT because with this plus button down in the bottom left, we can only use another reference image to replace a character utilizing GPT. So what I did was in the image, I selected edit. It takes me to this screen right here. And I said, replace the man with the older man in this image. And now this image is gonna be that older Older one with the long white hair. Now submit that. So while these are continuing to be completed, let's go back over here. Look at that. It did a great job. It replaced it perfectly. Now I have this older man in that image. However, the aspect ratio is different. Easy fix. But now what I can do is very easy. I can now just say resize. And now on the left-hand side, select 16.9. Now I'm gonna get that second scene replaced with my original man right here. Okay, so now back over here in video, it looks like our first one is done utilizing Kling 2.1. 
Look at this. Look how great this actually turned out. That looked fantastic. Good job, Kling. Now, we're still waiting on the other one. We still have time for Minimax, but either way, same process. So let's go ahead and start with this one that we got done in Kling. I can either click to open it, okay, and extend video appears right there in the bottom right hand corner however it also appears just hovering over the thumbnail you just simply click it that's all you have to do over on the left hand side this is where things get fun describe what you want to add to your video okay let's go ahead and say just this we're gonna say dragon blowing fire on the man now look at this i can go with four five six or seven seconds let's go in the middle with five okay now just go ahead and simply select that extend button and now there you have it and now here is the one in Minimax. Let's go ahead and open this one up and hit that play button. Wow, now this one, wow, that is really good. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Extend video on this one as well. And now what I'll say, camera just zooms out, bird's eye view, showing the scene and the beautiful snowy mountain landscape, okay? Let's go ahead and make this one five seconds again and now extend this one. Okay, so now we had both of them done. Well, kind of. For some reason, the first one is just a little bit stuck, but at least now the second one actually turned out quite well. Now, this was the one with Minimax. Let's go ahead and now hit that play button. Now, remember, it goes to that close-up angle and then it's supposed to zoom out and show more of a bird's eye view and now look at that there it is now it's going to have more of that bird's eye view with that nice large mountain range okay that's pretty good now let's go ahead and try one more and see if we can make this look even better and now what i'll do is click and drop this video right here in this window Okay, select use video. Now this is gonna be from my computer right here. It is AI generated, but it is from my external device. So I said handheld camera, it's gonna pan and slowly zoom out and then eventually display the full environment. In this case, it's gonna be the woman in a modern and a futuristic style of a room. Now with this one, let's go ahead and choose six seconds and now hit extend. Okay, so now we have both of these videos done. And now these both did amazing. Now check out this first one right here. Look at this. This takes just the basic video of the woman and now it just slowly zooms out and shows that modern LED lit up living room exactly with what I was looking for. Now let's take a look at the second one. Now this one, I said something a little bit different. Same sort of mood and vibe, but instead of a living room, now she's gonna be in the nightclub and now with other people dancing. And this did a phenomenal job as well. So there you have it, massive free pick updates but let me know what you guys think in the comments below and remember if you like this video please remember to hit that subscribe button i'll see you next time